Our philosophy is that kids need to be kids and it is not their job to be where we want them to be. It is our job to meet them where they are and take them to their each individual next level. In the 19 years that I've been teaching kindergarten at St. John's School, a lot has changed in education, but our kids haven't. They still need to run and play and build and explore and experiment. And we do our best to give them an environment to provide opportunities for all of that. Ms. Stevens and I, we meet each week to make sure that we're hitting each standard that we're required to. She covers a lot of the math and science and social studies. What we really focus on in my room is language arts learning the special sounds, all the letters, all the sounds that they make, sight words, and I also focus on the religion aspect. First of all, there is no such thing as a typical day in kindergarten. We need to be able to stop and observe the construction that's happening in our own building. We need to be able to go outside and see the, the trees changing colors. We need to be able to watch the book fair truck when it comes in with the big Clifford on the side. But for the most part, first thing we do is we come in, we say our prayer, we, we do lunch count, and then they just play for a little bit. And that's their time to come and talk and tell me all the things that are important. That who had pizza last night? Who's got a wiggly tooth? Who had an amazing dream? We also have center time most days. That's a time where they are divided up into smaller groups. There's usually a teacher-directed center, a, a review center, and then obviously a play center. Play has to happen every single day. We also have what we call open door time. We are in a unique position where the two kindergarten classrooms have a connecting door. And so every day for about 15 to 20 minutes, they have the opportunity to choose which room they want to go to and what activities they want to do just to pursue their own interests instead of us telling them all day long. At this age, I think one of the things that gets overlooked because of all the academic needs is the social skills. They need to learn how to interact with themselves, with the environment, with those around them. We do a lot of Bible stories, and with our Bible stories, we're learning how to treat our friends and how to treat ourselves and respecting others. They need to start understanding that the world is bigger than just them. They can help out in so many ways. Um, I hear from them all the time that you're never too little. And um, I, I feel like it's, it's something that we strive to instill in them, that you are never too little to make a difference, whether it be smiling at somebody in the hallway who's having a bad day, or playing with somebody at, at the park at recess, or even just helping a friend who dropped their marker box. There's so many ways that they can help and and learn that the society is bigger than them, the community is bigger than them. 